So before we get to that, and this is our last kind of bit of, of news of the week, I, I, I wanted us to have a little bit of a discussion because this has been, you know, coming out a lot lately is will one of our favorite former drivers, recently former, return to Formula One? And that is Sebastian Vettel, who has apparently been in talks with Mercedes and a number of other teams about potentially coming back to the grid. Um, what do you think about it, Emily? Okay, there's two schools of thought here. Do we want him to return to the grid to watch him race again? Yes. I think he's great for the sport. I think he, you know, is an amazing driver and would do great things coming back to the grid. One school of thought. Second school of thought. There's already so many talented young drivers competing for seats who are proving themselves. Ollie Behrman. Um, Liam Lawson, who've proved that they can do really, really well for not a lot of money as rookies. Yes. So do I think it's realistic that he is going to come back and take a seat next year? No, I just don't think that because if you think about it, he's, you know, world champion, lots of experience. He's not I mean, maybe he would do it for a million, but there's probably not. He made more in his last year racing, so he's going to cost a lot more, and he's been out of the sport for a few seasons at that point. You don't really know what he truly can do. He is older. Um, there's just a lot of question marks around it still, I think, and I don't think you would get your you know, benefit of how much he'll cost, if that makes right. sense. Right. Yeah, I I do think there are a couple of teams on the grid that would be willing to um to pay to to pay the actual money that that he would require. Um I think that it was unfortunate that he was at Aston Martin for 2 years when Aston Martin wasn't very competitive compared to where they are now. Yep. Um but the other thing is, you know, he's ever since he he retired, he he has talked about how much, you know, he's missed Formula 1, missed being on the grid, but at the same time, he also doesn't fail to mention that when he's racing and when he's traveling, he's also away from his family. I mean, he's got a young family that does not take part of, of the circus. They, they are very rarely in the paddock. They are very rarely captured on camera. Um, and his family is very important to him. So my thought, my thoughts here on this is that Sebastian Vettel will make some sort of return to Formula One, but it won't be as a driver. I agree with that. And he also does other racing, like him and uh, Schumacher uh, did a race together. I can't remember which one off the top of my head, but he's still like involved in motorsport and he's still doing things. And I definitely like, I still think he's a great ambassador for the sport. Like look right. at Suzuka last year with the, his whole B thing. I think that's, I love you know, the beach, the, the beehive know. thing. That was so like, he, so basically what he did is he brought all that. He invited the drivers to build these little beehives by behind turn two, um, on the Suzuka track. And so all the drivers came out and they decorated them. It was really great. And like, so, he is such an ambassador. He's really into environmentalism. It's very important to him. Um, and I, so I, I do think we can see him back in some sort of way that, you know, he won't, but he won't be in the car. No. And honestly, I think this is, I mean, way off track and hot take, but I think him as not extremely old, but an older driver who retired, be, sticking around, being an ambassador, doing great things for the sport. I think he's paving the way for Lewis Hamilton to find a position of doing the same. Because we've talked about this several times, how when Lewis retires, he, you know, should stick around. We'd like to see him stick, stick around because he's so great for the sport, such a great advocate, such a great advocate for the F1 Academy. He's really, you know, championing the, the drive for diversity and everything, and he's great for the sport. He may not be our favorite driver, but he is great for F1. And so I think Sebastian kind of sticking around and showing Lewis, like, you can leave, but stay. I think that's kind of, you know, he'll look to Seb to, to see his next move. Yeah, I also just really quickly looked up how old Sebastian Vettel is because I did, did like I knew he's older than me and an older driver, but I didn't exactly know. He's 36. So he's not that old. He's not like Fernando Alonso. Why do I feel like he's 45 right? years old? Right? Oh my gosh, Sebastian, I'm sorry I take it back. You're not old because 36 is not even that older, that much older than me. 
Right, like I'm turning 34 in a month, and so he's only two years older than I am. So, and I, I oh didn't realize. Oh my god, I thought he was like 45. I mean, I I honestly thought he was closer to Fernando's age than my age. Um, I think that we're having the same kind of crisis that I had when Don't I realized that. do you bring that. Fernando's age um, into this? <laughs> but we always do. I, I think this is like the same crisis when I realized that Kevin Magnuson is three years younger than I am, because that threw me for a loop when I figured that out. Um, but... That said, there are, you know, most of the drivers on the grid are not in their mid thirties right now. It's, no. you know, it's Lewis, it's Danny, it's, um, Valtteri Botas, Sergio Perez, um, the Hulkenberg Fernando. and K-Mags. And I, he, well, he's not in his thirties, <laughs> but yes, older. Um, but, but yeah, it. I think that it would, it would take a lot for Sebastian Vettel to come back on the grid yeah. for a full year of driving that I don't think that he would want to invest in that. And I think he knows that too. Well, and I think too, I mean, we've talked about this. Teams are going to explore every option, right? So obviously they're going to give that call to Seb, be like, Hey, still don't want to do it. Cool check him off the list right and so I think maybe it's it's more so where Sebastian Vettel's head is at versus teams like teams can consider anybody but are they considering racing so I think that's so do I think that teams are reaching out to him is that realistic probably but I don't think him returning is exactly I think I think that's the that's the crux of it like is he a viable option absolutely is he more interested in say than than say like Kimi Raikkonen who we would all love to see back on the grid just because Kimi Raikkonen is an agent of chaos and hilarious on the radio um but yeah I I I just don't actually see it happening nope me neither yeah one of these days we're gonna have to have a hot take discussion that we don't actually agree on we'll get there I'm sure (laughs) yes 